Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to continue to work with the normal distribution. In a previous video, we worked with a problem manually and arrived at a manual solution. In this video, we are going to use Excel to arrive at the same solution. So we are taking up the same problem that we took before. Suppose the annual rate of return on stock indexes is approximately normal. Since 1945, the S&P 500 stock index has had a mean yearly return of about 12% with a standard deviation of 16%, 16.5%. The market is down for the year if the return on the index is less than zero. The question was, in what proportion of years is the market down? Below this question, you see the manual solution that we arrived at before in a previous video. And I told you there that we could accomplish the same thing by using the normdist function in Excel. So let us do it here in this cell. We write an equality sign and invoke the normdist function by writing in N-O-R-M-D-I-S-T and then we start a bracket. Excel is asking us to enter the parameters. The first one is the X value or our desired value, which in this example is zero. Then, after the comma, we need to enter the mean value, which is 12, comma. Then we need to enter the standard deviation, which is 16.5, comma. And then Excel is asking us if we want a cumulative distribution. We do want a cumulative distribution. So if we want to tell Excel yes, we type a 1. If we want to tell Excel no, we type a zero. One is true, zero is false, or one is yes, zero is no. Because we want a cumulative distribution, we type in a one, close the brackets, and hit enter. And there we have it, 0.2335 is the probability, or 23.35% is the probability that the market will be down or the index value will be less than zero. Let us look at the next question in which we worked backwards in a previous video. This is that question. Suppose the above question is rephrased to say that since 1945 the market has been down 23.35% times. Now in this case we know the probability already. What would the index value have to be for the market to be down? We already know the answer that the index value would have to be zero. When we computed the thing manually, we arrived at this answer, minus 0 0.045. And the reason was that we were using minus 0 0.73, minus 0 0.73 here as well, as the Z value. This was an approximation. The actual value was minus 0 0.727272 and so on. In Excel, we can use the norm in function to accomplish the task. Let us do that in this cell. So we write an equality sign, type in norm, N O R M I N V, norm in, start a bracket, and then Excel is asking us to enter the parameters. The first one is the probability. We already know the probability. 23.35%, so we write 0 0.2335. We need to give it the mean, 12. Then we need to supply the standard deviation, 16.5. We close the bracket and hit enter. And you see that the value 0 has been returned, so the index value has to be zero for the market to be down. This is the same thing that we saw in this question here. That is all I want to cover in this video. See you next time.